national satellite system, INSAT, seeks to provide broadcasting, telecommunication, and meteorological data collection are all combined into a single system to provide linkages between different facets of national development. Equally important is a system to locate, assess and monitor natural resources so as to efficiently and optimally manage them. The Indian Remote Sensing Satellite Program aims to do just this through the IRS series of spacecraft. IRS is in fact a vital component of a larger system known as the National Natural Resources Management System, NNRMS. It is the function of the NNRMS to monitor, assess and efficiently manage the natural wealth of the nation in association with user departments of state and central government agencies. Both INSAT and IRS symbolize the philosophy and approach of the Indian Space Program. With the long-established traditions of science in the country, it was but natural for the Indian scientists to continue their pursuits using modern methods. The fact that the geomagnetic equator passes through India provided the stimulus for the setting up of a sounding rocket station at Tumba for upper atmospheric research. The Tumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station set up with cooperation from a number of countries, symbolized India's entry into the space age, when a two-stage imported sounding rocket lifted off from Trivandrum in 1963. One, zero. Even at that time, a quarter century ago, the potential of space for applications related to national development was clear to the team of space scientists led by Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. It will be our constant endeavor in the years to come to provide the peaceful uses of outer space for the real problems of this nation. This foresight and vision about the use of space technology for communication, remote sensing and meteorology helped to steer India's space program along a clear applications-oriented path. The seeds of the Indian space program, which were sown in Tumba, germinated and soon spread to various places in India in the form of R&D institutions and facilities under the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, of the Department of Space, DOS, come vital. It is these needs that the Indian space program seeks to address. System studies, combined with a vision of future technological possibilities, help to define the specific applications and fields in which space could play an important and economically viable role. Pilot experiments for evaluating and optimizing effectiveness preceded demonstration projects that were carried out jointly with appropriate agencies so as to educate and convince users. As a result, many services have today been operationalized. It signifies respect to the group. This is connected to insert 1C beacon. <laughs> B-1 
being a non-aligned large developing country committed to self-reliance, India had to evolve her own strategy in developing space technology. This has been largely influenced by the peculiar needs of the country in agriculture, communications, drought management, disaster warning, education and so on. Thus, while experiments and applications were conceived and executed, a massive parallel effort in the development of satellite and rocket technology had to be undertaken. While leapfrogging has been attempted whenever possible, India has had to go through the process of establishing an infrastructure, of developing basic technologies, and of attempting to telescope activities by carrying out R&D as a part of satellite or rocket fabrication projects. In trying to accelerate its progress, the Indian space program has greatly benefited by international cooperation. Thus, India's first satellite, Aryabhatta, was launched from the Cosmodrome of the USSR in 1975. This strategy has provided hands-on experience in using space technology without awaiting the development of India's own launch capabilities. More importantly, it has enabled both ISRO and user agencies to get end-to-end -end experience in utilizing space technology. Symbolizing this approach is the Satellite Instructional Television Experiment, SITE, conducted for a year in 1975-76 using the American ATS-6 satellite. Taking these efforts further has been the use of other satellites, the Franco-German Symphony satellite, the Indian satellites Paskara 1 and 2, launched by the Soviet Union, and Apple, launched by the European Space Agency and a number of experiments in remote sensing carried out jointly with user agencies using data from Landsat and NOAA satellites. The National Natural Resources Management System, which perhaps is the most ambitious of its kind in the world, exploits the technology of remote sensing to the fullest extent. The National Remote Sensing Agency of the Department of Space in Hyderabad regularly receives imageries from spacecrafts like the Landsat and NOAA of the USA and SPOT of France. It has operationalized a number of services on a national basis. These include monitoring of forest wealth and surface water resources, flood mapping, drought assessment, wasteland mapping, underground water resources and so on. NNRMS will now draw data primarily from the Indian IRS satellite. A network of regional remote sensing service centers will enable users all over the country to have a ready access to IRS data also to analyze it for their specific needs. Any water body or snow, both are merged in a black and is put into the, your rubby. The bee is uh, just, uh, just before ending season. That means harvesting period of... Harvesting will start somewhere in April, March, April, blue. In the field of communications, the valuable experience gained through the experimental communication satellite Apple, Ariane passenger payload experiment, came in handy when the INSAT-1 services were to be operationalized. Apple was built by ISRO and launched into a geosynchronous orbit by an Ariane vehicle of the Seven, European Space six, Agency. Cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, top. The INSAT system has been providing operational space services through INSAT-1B from 1983. It has brought about major changes in the fields of telecommunications and meteorology. 
తుఫాను హెచ్చరిక కేంద్రము వారు మద్రాసు ప్రమాద హెచ్చరిక కేంద్రము ద్వారా ఆకాశవాణి with small stations being set up for voice and message or data traffic. This has reduced the isolation and disadvantages that rural and remote areas have traditionally faced. Because of INSAT, the free... Self-reliance in space technology is hardly conceivable without indigenous development of rocketry. Indeed, ISRO's efforts in rocketry predate those in satellite technology. ISRO has already operationalized its Rohini sounding rockets. They provide the wherewithal for scientists both from India and abroad to conduct experiments in meteorology, aeronomy, x-ray astronomy and so on. In satellite launchers, the breakthrough achieved by SLV-3 in 1980 was followed by the development of an augmented version called the Augmented Satellite Launch Vehicle, ASLV. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Technological innovation and upgradation are the keys to a nation's industrial development. In many of the developed countries, the space program has been at the forefront of such technological innovation. In pursuing research and development to meet its goals, India's space program too has accumulated a wealth of advanced technology. Over the years, the space program has established close links with various industries. These not only serve the progress of the space program, but also that of its industrial partners. The technological and managerial demands of space projects provide a unique opportunity for a variety of industries to upgrade their production processes and to diversify. The basic urge of the Indian space program to play a meaningful and constructive role in national development is inspired by the unique perspective space offers to humanity. <laughs> 